Peace, little hackers. Uh, today we're building a complete sensor prototype using the BME 680 sensor. Um, I showed a little overview on the last video, um, but today I'm going to show you pretty much how to put it all together. So it shows um, live temperature, humidity, pressure, and air quality all right on this uh, little uh, display screen. So we got the um, BME 680 four-in-one uh, sensor. Um, then we have the SSD uh, 1306 OLED display. Let's plug that in so you can see that. And then we have a um, status LED right here. And then the ESP32 handles all the logic. So let's put it together. So it's a pretty simple setup. We have the BME 680 right here. And there's a few ways you could uh, plug this in. This SCL and SDA is for the I2C connection. That's what we'll be using. But you can also use uh, the SDA, SDO, and CS. Um, <clears throat> this is for SPI. So if you want to use it on the SPI bus and connect multiple SPI devices, go for it. Um, but this is also pretty straightforward with the I2C, and then the VCC is uh, three volt. And then I'm using uh, this screen, it's the uh, 0.96 OLED, and the technical name for it is SSD 1306, 0.96 inch screen, 128 by 64 pixels. And then we're just using a generic uh, ESP32. And then this is extra, but I added in a uh, LED too as well. So the connection's pretty simple. So we have um, <clears throat> just the I2C, so it's the uh, SDA, SCL, and the um, sensor and the display are both using that. So pretty straightforward. I already have it connected. Plug that in. I'm gonna plug that in. <clears throat> so now I'll show you uh, the coding aspect. Now that you got your thing all set up, going to want to make sure to get the um, BME 680 library and I will upload this code hopefully by the time this video is up but even if you did not know how to do any of that or even want to just make your own um, you want to hop over here to ChatGPT, download that if you don't have it and um, just tell it what you want um, because some people have different uh, ESP32s or different screens or maybe even a different sensor. Um, so here's pretty much what I did to vibe code this. Um, write code for BME 680 using uh, the sp specific library. Sometimes it will use a different libraries um, <clears throat> to, pr to print the environmental data to the serial terminal and then I had a certain LED. So gives you um, the code that you need and honestly it worked the first try um, but then i also added the display and then um, i know of a specific font library that i use um, but it's kind of annoying to set up manually so then it uh, gave me the code for that with the fonts <clears throat> And then, because I'm super lazy, I had to convert it to Fahrenheit. And we ended up with uh, this code. So it's a pretty uh, easy way to just prototype, because <clears throat> then from there, you know, you can um, edit the UI and make it more your own. So we're going to plug in the device. Make sure you have your ESP selected. Go select it on the board. 
And then these are the settings that I always use, erase all flash, flash size, make sure it's the exact one. This is four megabytes. <clears throat> you don't have to change the partition, but it's there. And uh, most importantly, that's your uh, baud rate or the upload speed. All right, so when you uh, upload it, you'll see we have a core UI and then every like three seconds or so, it updates. Here's a rear thermometer for reference. So it's uh, about a degree off and the humidity is just like a few percentages off, but not bad. So that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty nice prototype because then you can um, <clears throat> put it on a PCB, put it on something like this, and then make a custom PCB so it's all nice and clean. Uh, create a 3D printed case, and um, really for about 20 bucks, um, you could get a super nice um, sensor, and then you could also connected to Wi-Fi or send data through Bluetooth. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more advanced projects uh, with this um, to make it more of a portable sensor, like adding a battery and a few other stuff. I have some uh, other cool ESP32 type screens um, that I'm going to try mixing, up, mixing these up with. Um, but yeah, check it out. I'll have the link down below for all these parts. And let me know uh, what you create. I'd love to see it.